Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's videos, we will be discussing the most important MCQs on solid state physics, focusing on magnetism, semiconductor, and superconductors. We have already covered the crystal structure, bend theory, and specific heat of solids in our previous video. And this video will ensure you are fully prepared for your exam. So stay tuned until the end, as I have two bonus questions for you that have been asked in many exams these questions will be a great test of your understanding okay let's start question number one superconductors are materials that have zero resistance at low temperature so a is your correct option next type one superconductors expel magnetic fields due to the masonar effect so a is your correct option next the critical temperature for a superconductor is the temperature at which the superconductor becomes a normal conductor. So, A is your correct option. Next, for the London penetration depth characterizes the depth up to which a magnetic field penetrates a superconductor. So, A is your correct option. Next, 5. Which of the following is not a type of superconductor? Ferromagnetic superconductor. So D is your correct option. Next, the unit of magnetic field strength in the SI system is Tesla. So B is your correct option. And remember, 1 Tesla equals to 10 to the power 4 Gauss. Next, the phenomenon where a superconductor is able to maintain a current without any applied voltage is known as persistent current. So, A is your correct option. Next, 8. Critical current in a superconductor refers to the maximum current a superconductor can carry before lodging its superconducting state. Okay. So, A is your correct option. Next, the effective mass of charge carriers in a semiconductor depends on the curvature of the energy band is versa. So, D is your correct option. See, effective mass is mathematically expressed as h cot square by del square E by del K square. And this del square E by del K square gives you the curvature of the energy band. So, the effective mass is inversely proportional to the curvature of the band base versa. Next, 10. The Hall effect is used to determine the mobility of charge carriers in a material. So, A is your correct option. Next, two parallel wires carrying currents in the same direction will attract each other. So, A is your correct option. And when they carry current in the opposite direction, they will repel each other. Next, the energy gap in a semiconductor is defined as the difference in energy between the valence band and conduction band. So, B is your correct option. Next, 13. When a superconductor expels a magnetic field, it is said to exhibit Meissner effect. So, A is your correct option. Next, Ampere's law relates the magnetic field along a closed loop to the current passing through the loop. So, B is your correct option. Next, the Fermi energy in a material represents the average energy of electrons at zero temperature. So, A is your correct option. Next, the conductivity of a material is directly proportional to the density of mobile charge carriers and their mobility. So, A is your correct answer. Next, the unit of magnetic moment in the SI system is ampere meter square. So, B is your correct option because magnetic moment is defined as I times A, ampere meter square. The force experienced 
by a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field is maximum when the conductor is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Okay, so A is your correct option because see the force is given by I L cross B. So here it's cross product. So cross product will give you a sin theta and sin theta will be maxima only when theta equals to 90 degree. So the conductor should perpendicular to the magnetic field. Next, 19. Superconducting materials are characterized by all of the above. Okay, so D is your correct option. Next, the phenomenon of zero electrical resistance in superconductors can be explained by the formation of Cooper pairs and their behavior as bosons. So, B is your correct option. Next, the band gap in an insulator is typically large, preventing electron conductivity. So, C is your correct option. Next, the drift velocity of charge carriers in a material is influenced by the strength of the electric field and the mobility of the charge carriers. So, A is your correct option. Because C, the drift velocity mathematically given by mu times e mobility and strength of the electric field next the force experienced by a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field is maximum when the angle between the current and magnetic field is 90 degree so b is your correct option. next 24 the Meissner effect in superconductor is a result of Complete explosion of magnetic flux from the material. So, A is your correct option. Next, the quantum mechanical tunneling effect is responsible for the decrease in resistance of superconductors. So, B is your correct option. Next, a magnetic field is said to be solenoidal if the divergence of the field is zero. So, C is your correct option. Similarly, remember if core of any vector field is zero, then the field will be called as irrotational. Next, the electrical conductivity of a semiconductor can be increased by increasing the doping level. So, C is your correct option. Next, the resistance of a metal increases with temperature due to increased scattering of charge carriers by lattice vibration. So, D is your correct option. Next, the magnetic field lines around a bar magnet originate from the north pole and terminate at the south pole. So, A is your correct option. Next, 30. In a doped semiconductor, an N type semiconductor is created by adding pentavalent impurities. So, B is your correct option. In trivalent impurities, we will give you P type semiconductor. Next, 31. The most conductive type of semiconductor can be obtained by heavy doping. So, A is your correct option. Next, the Josephson effect is related to the flow of supercurrent between two superconductors separated by a thin barrier. So, C is your correct option. Next, 33. In the band theory of solids, the Fermi level represents the energy at which the probability of finding an electron is 50%. C. So, your correct option is option C. The question related to Fermi level is very, very much important. We have discussed related to Fermi level already. Like there we define form, uh, the uh, Fermi energy is the energy, average energy of the electrons at zero temperature. Okay. So, in other way, you can also define the energy or the Fermi energy the, at which the probability of finding an electron is 50%. Next, 34. The process of adding impurities to a pure semiconductor to increase its conductivity is known as 
doping. So B is your correct option. Next, 35. In an n-type semiconductor, the majority charge carriers are electrons. So B is your correct option. And in P-type semiconductor, the majority charge carriers are holes. Next, materials that have individual magnetic moment that align parallel to an applied magnetic field but do not retain their magnetic properties when the field is removed are classified as paramagnetic materials. So B is your correct option. Next, 37. The phenomenon of ferromagnetic materials retaining a significant amount of magnetization even after the removal of an applied magnetic field is called retentivity. Okay, so here the there should be option like let it be E. This is retentivity. Okay, so E is your correct option here. Next, in a PN junction diode, the region depleted of charge carriers near the junction is called the depletion layer. So, A is your correct option. Next, the magnetic property that arises from the intrinsic magnetic moments of atoms or ions with unpaired electrons is known as paramagnetism. So, B is your correct option. Next, materials that experience a weak repulsion when placed in a magnetic field and the repulsive force is usually overwhelmed by the attractive force of other magnetic materials are referred to as diamagnetic materials. So, D is your correct option. Next, when a paramagnetic material is placed in a magnetic field, it will exhibit a net magnetic moment in the direction of the applied field. So, B is your correct option. Next, the process of joining two different semiconductors to create a device with unique electronic properties is known as heterojunction D. Next, the temperature at which a ferromagnetic material loses its ferromagnetic properties is known as Curie temperature. So, A is your correct option. Next, the property that describes the ability of a material to retain its magnetic properties even in the absence of an external magnetic field is called retentivity. So, B is your correct option. Next, the ratio of magnetic moment of a material to the applied magnetic field is quantified by the susceptibility. So, C is your correct option. Next, the effectiveness of a material in conducting magnetic flux is determined by its permeability. So, B is your correct option. Next, the phenomenon where certain materials exhibit permanent magnetization even in the absence of an applied magnetic field is known as ferromagnetism. So, C is your correct option. Next, the process of aligning the magnetic domains in a material to strengthen its magnetic property is called magnetization. So, A is your correct option. Okay, this last two questions for you, 49 and 50. So, write down the answer in the comment section. We have already discussed these questions above. Okay. So, 49 is the London penetration depth characterizes the and question number 50 for you is two parallel wires carrying currents in the same direction will for staying with me throughout this video. These questions have appeared in exams multiple times. So, make sure to practice them thoroughly. Drop your answer in the comment section and I will be checking them out. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more such content. Your feedback and interaction mean a lot to me and help shaping the future videos. Good luck with your studies and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.